Our famous Kulishovka river painted stamp in my university, as you can see. How shabby it is. I went to a court hearing. Hi guys, I decided to make one video really spontaneous. I will just show you what's happened to me this month. So now it's the beginning of May and today I'm going to do some recycling. And now I'm in that mood when I actually have to write a thesis, but I don't want to do this. So I have to go somewhere to do something instead. And I decided to go there to put on some makeup, uh, to buy some tea probably. So yeah, let's get into it. Day number one, I'm going to take this. Oh my gosh, I felt so embarrassed walking in the central street with these bags. I think people were wondering like what this TikTok Igor was doing here with these big bags. So this is how it all looks. So this was my day number one of my attempt to clean my balcony and to do some useful stuff. Sometimes I have to remind myself that this thing that I just threw out is not called trash, it's called recyclable material. And trash is what I sometimes make to go out of my... Today is the 9th of May and it's a very important holiday in Russia because today we celebrate the victory over Nazi Germany and there is going to be a big parade in the center of the city. Now I'm walking along my university as you can see. So as you can see the road traffic is closed today so this road is supposed to be an only pedestrian road in fact guys i was mistaken because it's just i think restricted for some float yeah probably all the tanks all the military cars they will be driving along this street people here standing and waiting for something oh yeah there's the military parade right there Well, to be honest, I'm even glad that uh, I didn't get to that very parade. I think that my emotions would be really negative. And right now, guys, I'm going to cross uh, this place through some really nice park. It's a big central park in Kavarsk, not in New York. And now it looks a little bit gloomy, but I still like it. Wow, there's even a pond in a park. That's so nice. Such a creative idea. And these weird things are supposed to be lights? Oh no, it's just the stones. Yeah, these are the lights. At night time they look really beautiful. Oh, look here, guys. This building is an example of, of some Soviet architecture. I think this is supposed to be some uh, sport facility because here you can see the word katok. Katok is uh, an ice rink. Is it open? Hot of Moscow. No, it's not open. Oh, look at this car. I don't know much about cars, but this one seems really cool. Is it like Mercedes? Uh, I don't know what's, what this sign means, but probably yes. We 
Вели машины, объезжали мины По путям народа фронтовый маршрут Дорожка фронтовая And this is exactly what happens today because because of that 9th of May some roads are closed and that's why there's a lot of cars. I came to Spask and I came here again for the driving exam. I just had some driving training with the instructor and it's all strange for me to stand here now in the center of Spask. It's so quiet here. If you remember this Aurora Cinema Theater from my previous video about Spask, it was red but now it's being reconstructed somehow. Yeah, so now it's just 8 p.m. and very quiet. Oh now guys, look at this. So it's like the M from the McDonald's logo became the Russian letter She and now it's in the word Shaurma. Behind me there's some interesting place. Maybe 10 years ago when I was at school this place was a hockey stadium but now they turned it into a car parking and there are still some remainings of this place. You can see this frame and I suppose there probably was a name of this uh, court and this chain link fence. I like how it all looks. Abandoned, destroyed, aesthetic as usual. What is this? I always look at the thing and I don't understand its purpose. Oh, parkour. Yeah. I remember every graffiti that is here. So I remember this guy, his name is Dake. I remember this place so well, so that when that new graffiti appeared, I immediately recognized that it is something new. Look at this. Well, it's not the best, but still, I like these bright colors. Sorry, I'm not graffiti man. Yeah, we understood. Привет, кот. Что тут сидишь? Yeah. Life of a cat in Russia. Oh, look at this. It's a golden hour now. The best pictures should be taken right now. Yeah, I'm just sitting here on this painted stump. It's so creative. I had a really controversial feeling today because I just had the driving lesson with uh, some instructor and I was really nervous during that lesson because at first I was just nervous uh, communicating with a new person, with a new instructor and second, I'm just generally really scared and nervous when I'm driving and I saw this contrast between this situation when you were just filming something and when you're completely engaged in the process like it was two hours lesson of intense driving that's why I felt such different I think it's a combination of things at first I'm really surprised to be in Spask and to see how a town can be so silent and second so this driving and filming and I don't know just some useful stress and this is our famous Kulishovka river thanks to my video that got 2 million views this river is now known worldwide wow 
I didn't know that it can look so good. Look at these colors. Brigantina. These are some private garages. Oh, look at this Russian flag. Why is it pink? But the worst thing is that I can't just uh, enjoy all this time of the year and hang out with my friends because now I'm in the process of writing a thesis. It's called a diploma or a diploma. It's a, a 60 pages paper that you have to write in order to graduate. I haven't done much actually, but yeah, I have been there. The topic of my thesis though is very interesting. It's new allergisms in English and their translations to Russian. And specifically, I will be concentrating on the new words that appeared during the COVID era and how they are reflected in English and how they are translated to Russian. Oh, by the way, guys, look at this really interesting house. I am really amazed by this house all the time because it looks like some witch house. As far as I know, this is a dacha of some man, so he doesn't live here, he just comes here to plant some potatoes. But look how, how shabby it is. I would like to film some horror movie there. Here's even some TV antenna. Yeah, now I will go home and write that paper and tomorrow I will have the driving exam number 150-72. Yes, see you tomorrow, guys! So the exam is over, but I failed it again. And this day, my mistake was that when I was turning to the left, I didn't stop in front of a pedestrian. I will show it to you on some examples. So I was going to turn left like, like this, and uh, I saw that there was no crosswalk, but a person was crossing the road from here like this, and I was supposed to stop. The thing is that there is a rule that if you are turning to the left like this and even if there is no crosswalk you have to stop if uh, if there are some people crossing the road so yeah it's said that today I had all the chances to pass the exam because when i started driving i was completely confident it's just a matter of luck i am now thinking do i really need this driving license at all because i don't want to own a car not in next 10 years for sure. And that being said, the road policeman appointed the next exam to July. In two months. I'm not even sure that I will be in Spas or in the Faris. So, so I don't know if I will take this exam at all. I don't care. <laughs> Back to the big city, doing my favorite recycling again. By the way, recently near this recyclable station, a new food stall appeared, and it's called Blin Amur. And Blin in Russian means dam, but also it's just a pancake, a dish of our traditional Russian cuisine. And Amur means the Amur River. And what I like about this place is that it's like the representation of our local Far Eastern identity because it's like the Russian cuisine, but also the Amur River. And also look at this cute Amur tiger. Yeah, now I want to try this place. I bought one with banana and Nutella and another one with cheese. And also this cappuccino. Actually, this cups are not recyclable and i decided that from today i'm gonna switch to a reusable cup yeah so this is the last one
today is the 25th of May and today is a very interesting day for me because I went to a court hearing. Not mine, not yet. I didn't want to go alone, so I invited my friend. Yeah, so girls in the West are inviting their friends to go to like shopping or to a cafe. And in Russia, a reason to hang out with a friend can be going to the court hearing together. Yeah, why not? This court here is devoted to an artist from Khabarsk who is blamed in justification of terrorism. So in 2018, there was a terroristic attack in the city of Arkhangelsk and this artist from Khabarsk, his name is Maxim Smolnikov, but his pseudonym is Khadad. So he made a post where he commented on the situation and the prosecutors tried to prove that he was justifying terrorism. And the thing is that in Russia, when your guilt is not yet proven, you're still closed in a pre-trial detention center, which is basically like jail. So today, the artist attorneys tried to at least change the measure of the a detention so that he at least spends this time at home under the home arrest instead of being jailed but the russian court really wants to show that they like work and uh, catch criminals so they left it all the same and now he has to spend in jail several more months until the next court hearing this is all really scary and disappointing for me yeah overall today was a really useful day because every knowledge is useful and you never know what can come in handy i felt everything so guys in this video you saw about 17 minutes of me walking somewhere doing some fun stuff but i want to say that for the most part this month was just me sitting here in this room and doing nothing i actually have to write a thesis but i don't want to do this i would just try to collect my energy and to make something for the thesis or for my chinese exam but i didn't have any energy so so now i'm in that state when I am risking to fail my graduation, so I just wanted to escape from that fear. I just didn't attend the Chinese exam because I forgot about it. As for the thesis, just my behavior was really, really inappropriate and unprofessional because I would ignore the messages of my advisor because I didn't have anything to show her. I will try to retake the Chinese exam. But now it will be harder because there will be some other teachers. And anyway, I can't speak Chinese at all. And as for the thesis, I asked to postpone the deadline again. And I hope that this time I will manage to do this. And for the past days, I've been studied intensively. I deleted my Instagram and TikTok. I was completely in Chinese. And I was reading the articles for the thesis. I was writing something myself. And after digesting all this information, I was like, wow, knowledge, I like studying. It's so sad that I understood it only now. Like, this is completely my fault. Yeah, the university has the governmental standards. The university has to suit that standards. And here I am just doing nothing and asking to postpone deadlines. But yeah, don't do this, guys. Prepare and do everything in advance, I guess. Overall, have you noticed how this video turned out to be so negative? Because I was not allowed to go to the parade, I failed my driving test, I'm now failing my graduation and many many other things. But I think the only positive part of this all is recycling and that beautiful Kabarsk ponds at night. And also one more thing is that I've read a book. Congratulations, the first completed book this year. People can do hard things. This is a book by Boris Nemtsov, uh, the Russian oppositionist who was killed. Yeah, one more reason to be depressed about. And here's even his um, autograph, autograph, as we say in Russian. Thanks to my friend Zakhar, who gave this book to me, by the way. Anyway, this is the end of my video. I'm going back to studying again. I barely found an hour to finish this video, but 
YouTube, the only thing that I'm gladly willing to keep up with, I mean, with the deadlines. And thank you guys for watching and supporting me by your comments and likes. And I also want to thank my patrons and PayPal donors. I am really grateful to you all, guys. And I'm waiting for that moment when I will be finally free of this university stuff. So probably about in two or three weeks, if I graduate, I will be free and I will be finally making so many videos because I have so many ideas. I usually tell this in my every video, I'm like, I have so many ideas, but indeed. Thank you, bye, пока-пока.